Hi, I'm Evan Carmichael and I believe that hungry entrepreneurs deserve help. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing how I use Evernote uh, to manage my to-do list. I use this for both business and personal reasons and I'm going to share with you how I do it and show you how you can do it as well. It's pretty easy. For everything that I want to manage, I'll create a separate stack. So here's one stack called TO Places to Check Out. And this is a list of things that I want to do in Toronto. So TO stands for Toronto. And anytime I find an interesting blog post or somebody's talking about a new, a new thing happening in Toronto that I want to check out, I will record it here. So this is a new board game that's opened up, uh, board games cafe that's opened up in Toronto. This is a place of uh, different uh, ramen places in the city that I want to check out. And so I'll, I'll make a list of things that, uh, that I want to go see. When it's done, I'll put it in a new folder called done. So there's two different notebooks under each stack. So if I just click on the TO places to check out, this is the list of things that I haven't done yet. When I've done it, I'll move it to the done folder. Uh, and then you'll see you know, what's here if you ever want to go back into your archive to see what was done. So there's no order of priority on here. Uh, you could if you wanted to, you could put you know, number one, number two, and then you could sort it by the title and it'll then be in alphabetical order if you really need to do that. But this is just a list of things that I want to get done and when it's finished, I put it to the done folder. I also use it for business reasons. Uh, one of the companies that I've invested in, uh, TDS is a salsa company. I can't show you the task because of confidentiality reasons, but same thing here. I've created a new stack called TDS Notes. TDS Notes are the things that I have to get done, so the six things that I have to do, and there's two things that I have already done. So it's a quick way to look at what's on your to-do list. I move it into uh, a separate folder, either archived or done when you finish them, if you need to look at them ever again. And I like it because this list is easy to sort by different um, stacks. So if I have my personal list, I have a business list, I can have multiple ones if I want. And it's available on all my computers and devices. So I can access from my iPad, from my laptop, from my cell phone. Uh, it makes it really easy. To do it is actually pretty easy. You just uh, create, oops, you do, that's some uh, real here. So we'll create a new notebook. So say this is business tasks. Then we want to add it to a stack. Add the stack, we'll create a new one. And we can rename this business tasks. So now it's been put here, business tasks. So this is where we would actually put all my to-dos. And then you can also right click and we can do, if we want, create a new notebook. And this can be our done or archived, whatever you want to call it. Oh, already exists. So we'll do a done business tasks. <clears throat> so here I can start adding different notes of things that I need to do. Call Hugo, whatever it is. <clears throat> and then uh, I can have my whole list of things I need to get done. And when I'm finished, I can put it into the done. And then I can always have my list updated of the things that I need to actually get done. So that's how I use Evernote to manage my to-do lists. Still something that is pretty new for me, uh, what I'm doing and how I'm using Evernote, but I find it super helpful. For those of you who are watching, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up below. It makes me want to do more for you. And if you have a comment about this video or a question about how I use Evernote or a question about your business, I'd love to try to answer it for you if you want to leave it in the comment section. I always read the comments and I really love seeing them come in. So thank you and I will see you on the next episode.